In this video, we need to fly in controlled airspace, so that means we need to file a lance. Are you ready? Okay. Show me you got so I'm going to bring up my phone. You guys can look with me. As you can see, we're well inside that Class D airspace, right? And then at the bottom right of the screen, you can see that little blue icon with the drone that says Get Lance. So that's our first indication that we need authorization before we fly our drone. So we're going to scroll up. You can see we've got lat long position. We've got that blue, big blue bar icon that lets us know, again, we're in controlled airspace and we need to file. We've also got something called checklist and notify to fly. I'm going to get into that in a second. But let's, uh, let's scroll back. I'm going to put our location just outside of the Class D airspace so you can see what that looks like. And now, now we're outside of controlled airspace. We're in uncontrolled. So now you can see we've got lat long position, but that blue get lance icon has disappeared. And now it says cleared for takeoff in that green bar. Um, so that's the big difference there. Uh, we've still got checklists as well. But even flying in um, uncontrolled airspace, right, we're still close to that Class D airport. So you still need to be aware of your surroundings, have good situational awareness, uh, and have a spotter as well. Um, so let's put our location back inside that controlled airspace right now. We're kind of back where we started. We've got the blue uh, notification boards that we need to file. Um, and then also you see that UAS facility map. Um, we're approved for a permissible altitude of 50 feet at the location we're at. So as you get closer into the center of that airspace, that altitude goes down. So when you're very close to the center, it's probably going to be at zero. But the further out you get in that airspace, um, that altitude is going to go up. So let's look at checklists real quick. And you can see um, these apps are really great for just keeping you safe, keeping you smart, and keeping you legal to fly, really. So we just want to make sure we've got our registration, our drones labeled, right? We can uh, check those off as we complete them. And then the trust and safety test. This is more for recreational pilots as well. Um, so we're going to check all these off, right? And then you've got risk assessments for the pilot and the drone itself. So if you're in manned aviation, this is very similar to the I'm safe and PAVE checklist. So we just want to be sure we're competent and safe to fly, right? We're not stressed, we're not tired. Um, and that, that could change throughout the day as you're shooting and filming, especially here in Texas, as the heat and temperature go up, right? That's gonna affect you, the pilot, right? It's gonna add stress and fatigue, so you've gotta stay hydrated, you've gotta fuel your body, and you've gotta be aware as the day goes on, right? You're adding stress to your body. Same with the drone, the batteries, the controller, iPad, all that gets affected by, uh, by heat, right? It adds stress, so just be mindful of that. Something to uh, take into account when you're doing these checklists. And I like to go back through these checklists if I've got a long day of shooting just to make sure I am still good, right? So you can click next and then you've got your pre-flight inspection, which is always good to do, not just with the drone itself, but the area you're flying in. Make sure you brief yourself and brief your crew um, on the operations and what you're gonna be doing and what to expect. So that's just a little look at the checklist. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cancel that. Um, just wanted to show it to you. So let's scroll back up. So everything looks good. We can click more here on the facility map and it just gives you some uh, light information uh, about things there. So we're going to go ahead and click Get Lance. It's going to open the Air Control app. And now you can see we've got some different stuff here. What's cool about this is you can see these numbers start to populate. And these are your ceiling altitudes, right? Um, so you can see these little quadrants, how high you can fly. Uh, just another layer of situational awareness. So you can see these numbers go up as you get closer uh, to the edge of that airspace, right? Um, so we're inside that red, uh, according to this app. So we want to just be outside of that just for the demonstration today. So we're going to go ahead and click our location here. And then we're going to scroll up. And we can see, again, we're good up to 50 feet. You can see prior Lance authorizations that I've 
made for later in the week to fly. Um, and then you can also see missions you've done or are getting ready to do. Uh, and you get some weather, lat long position. Uh, let's see, we could scroll back up and click weather, right? So you get a good layout um, and understanding of what the weather is doing so you can plan accordingly as well. So pretty cool stuff. So let's click on Lance. And now it's gonna ask you what type of Lance are you requesting, right? What type of operation are you doing? Uh, today we're gonna follow Port 107 commercial, but you have the option to file recreational as well. So we're gonna file Port 107 commercial. And then we're gonna click our altitude of 50 feet, right? Now it says eligible for auto approval. That's why we did that for the demonstration. So we're gonna click next. Now you get some notes on the Lance authorization, just some things to take into account, but we also get the option to change or choose our date and time and the duration. So how long we're gonna fly for, how long does that Lance need to be um, valid for? So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down. We're gonna choose Friday. I'm gonna do 7 a.m. because honestly, anything after eight o'clock in Texas, right, you're just gonna melt. Um, so we're going to fly early as possible, hope the crew is okay with that. Um, and then we're going to click OK. So you can see we've got the date and time set in. Now we need to choose the duration. So I'm not going to fly for two hours again. I would melt in Texas. You guys are in cooler temps like, I don't know, Oregon or something, California, right? Maybe you, maybe you can do 45 minutes or an hour. Um, but just plan accordingly with the crew and stuff. and just make sure everyone's on the same page. So we're gonna choose 15 minutes, we're gonna click OK. Everything looks good, just view it, make sure you're good with what you've got set, and then we're gonna click Next. We get the loading icon. All right, so now you can see we've got the green bar now, right? We're cleared for takeoff, we've been pre-approved, right? As you can see there, um, so everything looks good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, let me know you know some of the ways that you guys prepare for your flights and how you file a lance as well so we'll be putting links in the description below the video to help you out with resources as well for all the information we cover today so have an awesome day guys and remember a good pilot is always learning we'll see you